Hi guys, Gareth of Video Tribe here. And in this video, I want to do an in-depth tutorial for you to be able to get started quickly with Learn Worlds. Now, when I first got inside Learn Worlds, I found it all a little bit overwhelming. And the onboarding process, the onboarding training wasn't great. So I don't want you to go through the same struggles that I did. So I wanted to create this video to you, for you to be able to get started quickly. Now, I'm assuming that you've created your 30 day free trial. If you haven't, I will put a link in the description for you to be able to get started. The great thing about that trial, although it has some limitations, the idea is that you actually will be able to go through, try everything, create and edit all of your pages and the design of it, and also upload all your courses. So when you are ready to go live and upgrade, everything is done so that you're not paying for the setup process. Now, once inside, probably you've been asked to select a template already. If you have selected that template, you will be able to edit it by coming into the size section in Site Builder here. Now you can come down to Site Flavors and you will see the live template that you have selected. Now, if you decide that you want to try a different template, you can add create site flavor and select a different template for you to be able to start editing from. Then if you prefer that template to another, you just click activate and that will be the new design of your entire school. So all your web pages, your members area, your course area, everything will be automatically updated to that area. Now, if we go into edit school here, you'll automatically be taken to the page editor where you can edit all of your pages that have already been pre-populated. So if you come to this drop down here, you'll see that you've got your course pages. If you've created any courses yet, which we're going to get to next, all of your sales page, your about page, your contact page, all of these pages have automatically been created for you. And you can also go into manage pages and delete any of them if you don't want them. Now, for the sake of getting started quickly, I recommend that you stick to the template, edit all the pages that you actually want to keep and remove the rest of them. So inside this page editor, you're going to see that it's very similar to page builders like ClickFunnels, where it's the type of sections and columns. It's the sections, columns, grids, and elements that are relatively straightforward to use. Now, I've edited this to the design that I already want, but just editing any of these sections is incredibly easy. Now, even if this area here is overlapping the text, all you do is edit everything in this side section here. So for example, if I wanted to say, change the color of this text, I can go into change the background, apply, make it bold. And then suddenly I've got some text that is standing out more. I can also change the, the, the text type, the text size. I can change it to a larger heading if I want, or if I want to make it header two or header one or a paragraph size, I can change all of that here. I can also go into actions and if something happens on click, I can make sure that if someone clicks this, perhaps I want it to display a pop-up, take someone to a blog post or do anything else. So the great thing about Learn Worlds is everything is inside. Your blog posts, your courses, your web pages, they are all linked inside and you can actually get everybody to navigate everything going to different pages and different elements. So if I come out, the same goes for any of these. I can add different videos to this. I can select the video that I will have added to my library. I'll show you that when we're creating our courses, but you can add videos to your library to be able to use here. You can also select and change it to images or you can edit the layout here. Now I pre-built this one, so it's showing me different ones, but normally it would show you a number of different templates that you can automatically use. So if I go to add section, you've got all of these different elements that you can add, which are lots of pre-built designed for you elements. So even if you don't like the template, you could quickly design your own pages and add sections that are already created for you and are going to change color based on the design of your page. So you can go into the, the theme editor here and change any of the, the colors and typography buttons and layout for the entire theme itself just from here. Now you've also got all of the different pages in the dropdown for you to edit, as I mentioned before. Then literally I can go into any of these sections and change everything. So it's all very easy to select any of them and change any of these graphics. And as I said before, all of these elements are all ready for you to be able to select lots and lots of templates ready to go. So what I would recommend, as I said, is follow the template and use a lot of the built in things and just update the text, add your own videos and everything else. Now, once you are happy with the design and you've added elements, or perhaps you've, you've come into here and you've gone, okay, I don't like this element. I just wanted to delete it. You can also select and delete them there. 
Once you're happy with it, you can click save and then you can preview it to see what it looks like. So I can go discard the changes. I don't want those changes, but now I can see what this looks, okay, looks like live. That. So I can come down and obviously I can change what the different buttons do to go to different pages. I've got my navigation here, which if I'm in the site builder, I can go up to the navigation at the top and I can edit the navigation to be able to change any of these elements. So if I select them, I can add different elements to the navigation and decide where they go and what they do. So are the people already logged in? Are they logged out? In which case, if I go here, people that are signed in will see a different navigation and people that are signed out will see a different navigation as well. So if I leave that, we'll be back on the page itself. So you can update any of the links and any of the page elements and then go into all the different pages here to be able to edit those as well. You can also change the uh, site navigation, add different custom codes, and also on your page, you can add all the different SEO properties such as any of the, the links itself. So we'll close that down. And any custom code or the SEO. So the description, the image that you're gonna do, so if it's shared, you see it on Google or if it's shared on social media, this is the information that people are going to see. So you will want to update that information as well. You then also have the, the different designs and different layouts on different devices. So I can see what it looks like on mobile and make sure it's all formatting great and looking good on all of the different devices. And then also you've got the pop-ups here where you can actually create different pop-ups and this is where the powerful type of marketing that they use, they don't have all the different bells and whistles in terms of funnel elements that likes of click funnels and more marketing tools have, but they have many, many different pop-ups that you can use to capture emails on your blog posts, lead capture pages, or to have different promotional stuff going on, such as discount offers, countdown timers uh, to set urgency. So you have all of these pre-created elements to be able to add and use inside of your site. Once done and you're happy with the design, click to exit. Now I'm just going to discard that. And then you're then going to want to come into your courses. Now, when you're ready to upgrade, you can perhaps start to add your blog posts. You can do those now, but in order to change your domain, you're going to have to upgrade to one of the paid packages. So just get everything else ready before you're ready to add your custom domain. But you can also then change your sign up form to be able to decide what's gonna be on the sign up form uh, for, for when people actually click to sign up to your, your courses or to log in. So this is where you would be able to change that as well. So we go back, we can now go into courses and you're gonna to want to create a course. Give this a name and then click next. Decide if the URL is okay, I'm gonna leave that as is and go next. Decide if it's gonna be a paid, paid course a draft coming soon, it's a free course or it's going to be private. Decide on the price, so I'll just put say $97. Do you want a discount that people are going to be shown? I'm going to click yes, so I'm going to add $67 and you'll be able to see what that looks like in just a moment. Come across, you can add the image that will be shown at the top on the graphic here and you can also add a description. So I can go test description and you'll see that that comes out below and then you'll also see that the discount shows here as well. And this is automatically going to show up on a lot of the automated elements. So the great thing about Learn Worlds is it's going to automatically update most of that information across your site and populate it straight away. So if we go next, decide if you want your course to be drip fed. I'm going to click finish. And then you're going to see your course has been added here. Now you've got the layout where you can update the page itself. Again, I would just work from the template itself, click edit, and just like editing the other page, I can update all of these different sections and design, change the image, perhaps add a video. These buttons will automatically see automatic system button. That means you don't need to change anything. Although if I wanted to, I could change the design and color slightly. And these will automatically go to the sales page for this particular course. Scroll down again, I can update all of this information. And then also this section here will automatically update as you fill out your course. So as you fill out the course with content, this will automatically update. So if I come back to the top and then I go exit, we can 
start to look at adding some content. Now, what I would do first is I would go to the video library and I would start to upload videos that you can add here. Because then what you're going to be able to do is come across to content where you're actually going to start to build out your course. So I could go this section, I could call it section one. I'm going to make it as paid so I can obviously set it if I want this section to be a free section that people can get access to if I'm giving them free access to my school. And I'm going to go paid for this because I only want people to have access if they paid for the course and go through and that will automatically add it. I can then add activities such as videos and then I could go test video, click save and then I could add a video here from selecting it from the members area. So if I had uploaded a video, I would have options to be able to select from here and then I could add that video into the system itself. You could also then add different activities such as eBooks. Now, something I have noticed is that if you have a video section, you can't add text below it, but you can add text in, into the interactive part of the videos, which we're going to get to next. But if you do want to add, say, pages, then you could actually create an eBook and that ebook basically formats very much like a web page, but you can actually build out a free ebook if you wanted to give them away or free book ebook, ebook se sections that, but these can actually look like normal pages. So if you need to add text, we can say, okay, I'm going to go and edit this. And it's very much just a normal sort of document builder where I can start to build out the different sections. And we can say, okay, now I'm going to add this. So if you have a PDF or you have a Word document, you could literally just paste it into here and then that would automatically format and you can have a page that people can actually view. You can also then add PDFs, which will actually stay inside the system, link to YouTube videos, SoundCloud, audios, and you can add live sessions, questionnaires, certificates, and many, many other different things here that people can get as you're working through it. You can edit the access here as we've got paid. I can again edit all the settings that I was setting up at the start. I can change the pricing here. And in the settings, I can update the design of this if I want, add the author's name, add an image of the author, and check that the description looks good here as well It for what's going to show up on Google itself. I can also change the course player to see what it's going to look like. Now, the great thing here is that the course player has many different designs. So I can select the classic course player, which is the one I actually like, or a minimal course player. I can then view that course player. So for the sake of this, I'm going to go into one of my other courses. So you're going to be able to see what this looks like when the course is filled out. So as you can see, I sc scroll down in this one and all of the content has automatically been filled out because this course now has content. As you can see, all the updated content is here. And when I added the videos, they are all showing here. So I can just add any of those and they play lightning fast. They're really, really, the load time and everything of Learn Worlds is absolutely fantastic. So let's preview this course player. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. Well, as you can see, it looks a lot like the type of Udemy type of sites and also the type of more advanced builders out there. So it's got all of the different columns and all of the different information here laid out as you would expect, along with discussions where people can ask questions automatically, and that's going to link to the community itself as well. So we go back to the course player page. Let's go back into the members area here. And we're just going to come back and remember, you've got all the, the different information in terms of the layout and everything else. Now, what I want to show you next is how we can edit, edit the video. So we want to get into the, the, the interactive video feature, which is an incredibly powerful feature inside the system. So if I click on that, it's going to open up and I'm going to be able to edit loads of interactive features for this video. So I can add text elements, lower thirds, section titles, half screens, loads of different things that are going to pop in there. I can add images. I can add interactive elements such as buttons, offers, questions. I can then scroll down. I can add a table of contents for people to be able to work through the video in order. I can add subtitles, thumbnails, interactive scripts. So I can add my own scripts here. I can add watermarks. I can change the design of the player's skin if I'm not happy with the updated version for the template. 
And then you can see the video stats on that particular video to see how people are engaging, which is massively powerful because I can see where people are dropping off, what's not working, and I can either look towards changing that video or I can add some interactive elements such as quizzes to try and get people to engage more in the video so that I'm getting people to complete the content and getting them to motivate going through. Remember, we want to be able to get people to complete as much of your course as possible and these interactive elements are going to help you do that without having to re-record your course. So if we then go back, that is your course builder and once they are built out, you're going to be able to go into any of these courses and look at the analytics or you can go into the course section here and see all of your courses at a glance. So assuming you've now added some courses, you've updated your pages, you want to understand how all of these different sections down the side work. You've got the users part which is going to show you the main users, the instructors and the affiliates if you have any anyone, if you have actually activated the affiliate side of things. We can go into the marketing features. You can create your own bundles if you want to sell. You can also create subscriptions, but you would need to upgrade. So I'm about to go into the process of upgrading this tool so that I can add the subscriptions and the custom domains and go live with my members area. You can add promotional options for coupons and you can check the different leads that you're getting from the pages themselves. You then have the affiliate management system which is really a video in itself so we're not going to go too much into that in, in this video. You have the mobile app here again this is more of a, an advanced feature. I'm assuming that you're just going to want to get your course up and running quickly and get it live and then when you're starting to make some sales you could start to look at some of the more advanced features and potentially getting your own uh, your own app launch so that you can get on iOS and also Android devices and have your own bespoke app which is very very cool. I don't know any other tool that is actually doing this. In the report center you're going to be able to see all of the information on the different segments, the progress and all of the different reports at a glance. You're going to be able to see the game book. So gamification is where you're going to give people rewards for in interacting in the community, completing courses and assignments. You can do all, create all your certificates here, your assignments, your question banks, and also have a look at all of your different orders to see how they're all going on here as well. In the settings side here, we can then go into the school settings. You're not going to worry too much about this, but you would potentially want to look at the integration side. Now, you will need to add an autoresponder and the email autoresponders can be integrated here. They have four that are inbuilt. I believe more are coming, but otherwise you can link with Zapier for any other tools if you do have a different tool or for say social proof tools or any other third-party tools you want to link inside of here. But I think for most of us, it's just going to be linking an email marketing tool. You can also update your, your notification emails here to be able to make sure they're updated for different things that happen based on what's sent out to you and also to the learners. So we can update things here as well to change any of the designs of what's going out. It will be default. That's probably fine for all of us to get started as this information is going to be automatically updated. But as you move forward, you may want to update that information. The next thing is you will probably want to go into the learning side here. Now, something that we definitely want to look at is going to be the gamification, which I mentioned before. We could go in and create the different badges and then the community, community itself. Now, the community side, I absolutely love. This is very much like you having your own Facebook group inside the tool itself. So as you can see, there's nothing really going on here at the moment, but I can post polls, images, URL, uh, mentions. I can create groups for separate courses and separate people. I can also allow people to create their own groups as well. And then once you've completed that, once your course is up and running, once you've edited all of the different pages inside of the site builder and you are happy and ready to go, you can look towards upgrading your course here. Now, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please hit the like button as that helps grow our channel. And if you've got any questions regarding Learn Worlds, then please ask in the comments below and I'll happily answer those for you. And as I said, if you would like more training, I will put additional links in the description below where you can go through and get additional support on creating online courses, as well as any other tutorials on Learn Worlds that I create. Thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions, again, as I mentioned before, just ask in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you inside the next training video.